I've got a frequency. It's not control, but it is something. This troop transport has its own sentience. It is dying. I do not know what to do for it, what to say to it. Or it just shut itself down. It's got something we need. I can't. It's scared, panicking. It's broken, split in two. It is slowly fading away. Hello, I'm here. You're not alone. Not alone. Can't it just, I don't know, back itself up? It's gone. It's just... gone. I'm sorry. At least it heard some kind words in its final moments. I know this is hard, but I need access to its diagnostics. I suppose it is what must be done. By the way, I'm Prototype Zero Zero Combat Helper. You can call me Pooch. Mark. Mark Leslie.
Ah, ah. I installed the avionics data bus. I just need that neural net. Ah, I see that you have found your companion. It is good, good that she survived as well. Once you have found your brother, what do you plan to do? There has to be a way back where we came from. Back home. Home? It is strange, strange that you still think of men as home. But yes, there is a way. You will cast a stone into the water and create ripples. The ripples will open a maelstrom into which time itself will spill. The portal, they can pull the Penrose from being held in this place and time. A portal? A way back to 1986. Back to the start of the string, or to its end. Even if the portal between then and now was open this minute, the Penrose would still be bound to this place. The Ascendancy, the Tribulationists, they have it trapped. They worship it, yet they fear that it will leave them. To open the portal, you will need to repair the array that pulled the Penrose into your web and release the spinning crimson anchors at Babel that hold the Penrose trapped to our world. Tell me more about these anchors. Once the array is switched on and the portal is open, the anchors must be disrupted. I do not know how this can be done, but with the array activated and the well open, the temple will be in chaos. Chaos. What is the array? The three arms of the array are bound together through time. They exist at the start of the string, and now here at its end. So the array existed back in my time? Yes, but over the centuries, the three arms have been torn apart. They require a power source of red mercury, a tether device that lets them communicate with the past, and a slingshot to rip open time and space. Where can I find all these things? This puppet managed to track the Red Mercury to an agnet named Grave, who runs an outpost called the Kettle. The other items? You will have to seek those out for yourself. Now go, my child, go. Overriding safety protocols. Ejecting neural net.
I have integrated the Buffalo's voice commands into the radio. We will also be able to use the autopilot, thanks to the new avionics bus. Thanks, Pooch. I don't think I could have done that myself. Some sort of diagram here. Yo, Bridgen, what go on? It's a nice machine. Buffalo Troop Transport, eh? With all four engines working. Uh, yeah, yeah. Buffalo Transport. I can see you replace the old busting diesel engines. Smart. Can you tell me where I am? You're in Weatherberg, friend. Furthest place away from anywhere you could find. So how you find your way to this little slice of heaven? With a buffalo, you must see I come from the warden. I'm looking for a place where a satellite crashed. Any ideas? And where you want to know about that for? I'm looking for my brother. He's lost, but I managed to contact him and he described a buried satellite before his radio died. Just happens I know where that is. But if you're going that way, my friend, I'll be needing something. There's a crash space satellite close to the warden. I need something from there. Maybe you could refresh my memory. Who or what is a warden? <laughs> well, I'm always happy to make a new friend, even when them look slow. Warden, big spinning gateway, out past the city ruins, lets you travel far to the other place safely through the ether. The ether? My friend, you're more than look slow today. Ether, radiation, Oh, you survived so long not knowing how to avoid the rainbow gas. You need the warden access device in order to get through. I can install a spear for you. For your price. I don't have money, but uh, I have this Agnate dog. Maybe we could work something out. She is worth three or four gold. Maybe more if we break her up in a small pieces. But... Eh, there's something I need more than Agnite Spears. At the buried satellite close to the warden, I want the Alexis computer core. I even add it to your map there. Bring me the core and I'll upgrade your buffalo real nice with a warden access device. See you soon, friend.